here I am, Friday, walking through the shitty to Penn Station. In uh, two days on Sunday morning, I'm heading up the Adirondacks to through hike the Northville Placid Trail, 138 miles. We're gonna bang it out in eight days, hopefully. Seven would be nice. Eight will be fine. Um, that's it, I just figured. I'll get this little uh, segment on to see the difference because I'm going to be alone for eight days walking through the wilderness and I'm really looking forward to it after this disaster of a place every day and here we go so I guess next time I'll be on this camera I'll be in the woods going Hopefully all goes well. Alright. Me at the pen. I'm walking down the track to get on my train. Just making it. About to leave in a minute or two. So, that's it. This is really it. I'm out of here. I can't wait to get in the woods. To do this hike. It's going to be good. Okay, I'm doing it. The Northville Placid Trail, beginning hiking from Lake Placid to Northville, 138 miles. <laughs> See what we got going here. Here's Tom. He was nice enough to give me a ride, my shuttle, and pickle his dog. And here we go. All right, I'm one hour in. I did about three miles. And uh, Tom just turned around and headed back to his car with his dog. So I'm officially on my own for the next seven or eight days. Uh, was that the big river crossing I had to worry about? <laughs> so far, the bugs are nil. This trail is very smooth. This section is nothing. I banged it out. But I'm not going to film too much. I'll film here and there. And uh, that's it. I'm on the Northville Placid Trail. And I am hiking it southbound from Lake Placid to Northville. And I've been wanting to do this for many years now. And my window of opportunity came now. Hardest part was leaving the family for this long. But I think all in all, everybody's gonna be all right without me there for a few days. And I'm gonna walk as fast as I can. My foot feels good. I had uh, that peroneal tendonitis, whatever it was, but I've been taking care of that. And this is what I got. I'm just hiking now. Beautiful. I'm exactly six miles in, two hours and ten minutes. So I'm moving at a nice pace right now. Uh, I'm gonna stop for a minute. I'm gonna sit here for a second down there and just have something to drink and uh, a little snack. Take a little break. Point two miles in, I made it to Moose Pond Shelter. It took me about three and a half hours, so I'm just gonna take a break here, eat something, and push on. I'd like to do at least 
12 miles today. If I could do 13 or 14. Yeah, at least 12. I want to get at least 12 done. Don't mind my... Uh, 12 miles today would be nice and then see if I could do a little more I'll do a little more but you know I'll see how it works out I'm gonna eat something now take a little 10 minute break and uh push on keep going all I could do is walk I kind of want to bang this out not that I want to rush through it but I definitely want to uh my eight day mark is what I'd like to do. If I could do this in seven, that would be great. But realistically, I think it's going to take eight. Sunday to Sunday. All right. Onward. Southbound I go. <laughs> it's raining. So I made it my 12 miles to Duck Hole, number one I think it is. I'm going to sleep in the lean-to tonight. Look at that. Just going to go get some water. It's starting to rain. Well, at least I'll be drying the lean-to. All right. It is 6.45 in the morning. Actually, the lean-to I stayed at last night was duck hole number two. Nice. It's like a brand new lean-to. Uh, I didn't film really there because there was another guy there who was finishing up his northbound through hike. So that was his last night there. He was there when I got there. Had a fire going and everything. So thank you to him. I forget what his name was, but he was from Tampa Bay, Florida. So, if you happen to see this video, thanks for accommodating me last night. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it now. And two other women, actually there was, I think, four other women, but only two of them stopped by there. That he was, uh, that he saw from a couple nights earlier, they were also finishing. They didn't stay there, though. They had their tent set up somewhere else. But, uh, they just came through for a couple minutes. And uh, it was a quiet night. 6.45, I got a 23 mile day today. I'm gonna try to bang out. Ideally, it would be nice so I can get this done, but that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy filming again. Like I said, if I see something nice or interesting or got something to say, I'll film it. Next bridge crossing here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, Lake, um, Lake Placid. Uh, yeah, I'm going southbound. I started. I slept last night at um, Duck Hole Number Two. Or something. Yeah. yeah. There's like four shelters right in that. Yeah. There's uh. Okay. Oluska shelter. Yeah. Would have been nice to make it here last night. But it was like an extra six or seven miles from where I was. 
Anyway, there's water down there. Nice tenting spots over there. I'm gonna stop here and eat breakfast. And, um, I never thought I'd love a fucking Snickers bar so much. All right, this is fucking good. I'm gonna stay here for like 10 minutes. Enjoy the video, and um, how you going? So far, this trail's there. Eh. It's just walking through the woods, mud, blowdowns, a lot of blowdowns. Yesterday was a lot of blowdowns and a lot of mud. Today, so far, the trail's been nice. But yesterday was a lot of like bushwhacking around, big blowdowns, you had to go down. Mud going over the top of my shoe. I think it's just going to get worse in like two or three days and we'll have to go through all the beaver areas, but today I think the trail's good so far. But no views or anything, just walking through the woods, walking through the woods. Alright, let's see. Alright. Goodbye. Just a little sample. This is the trail. Mud. And this ain't even the worst of it yet. I'll be crossing that bridge in a minute. I just stopped here. Uh, it's I forget the name of the lean to just to have lunch. It's one of the cold rivers. Get some water. Another lean to all the way down there. Alright, I'd like to get a Catalan Bay lean to tonight. Definitely going to get to Plumley's. It's 12 o'clock. I already did about 11 miles or so. So if I can get to Catalan Bay, that would be nice. Check this out. This is at Cold River number four. A nice little suspension bridge. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All right, it wobbles. I just took a little bath down there and cleaned up, ate my lunch. Wow. Check this out. Not sure where I am. I'm around Kelly Point Lean To area. 20 miles for today. Look at this. Wow.
I'm gonna keep going a little further. It's almost five o'clock. I'm gonna keep going a little bit more. Still got another hour or two left of daylight. I'm shot, but I'm gonna push on. Twenty four miles today. It took me ten and a half hours. So I'm gonna camp up in there. I'll probably sleep there's a lean to up there. Catalan Bay lean to, I think it is. I'll probably sleep in there. I'm supposed to get thunderstorms tonight. So but right now I'm gonna take a swim, get some water, make dinner, and I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Dinner by the lake. There's my bear can. The bear cape blazer. It's supposed to hold nine days worth of food in there. I barely got to eat. Barely got to eat these in there. But I had to sit on it and kneel on it to close it. But it is nice to have it. Yeah, it's kind of far. Here's the lean too. I think it's Catalina, Catalina Bay or something like that. But, uh, somebody left some wood here. And they even left some chopped wood down there. Nice. There's my bivy set up. It's hard to see it, but. My underwear, tank top, and socks are hanging there to dry. I got my cork ball right there. There it goes. Roll out my feet. It does help. My pack is there. There's the bivy. Somebody left the broom there. But uh, overall, this lean to is pretty freaking clean, I must say. That's where I'm sleeping tonight. And the lake is right there, and I'm going to go down there and take a picture quick when the sun sets, and then I am going to bed. Alright, so, it is 6 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday, it's pouring out, so I'm glad I stayed in the shelter till last night. <laughs> but uh, I was coming down hard, it started at like maybe 5 o'clock. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. It's got it thunderstorms. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get my 20 and 25 mile days in today and tomorrow. Uh, I could get at least I could bay out of 12 miles and get to the Terrell Pond lean to. Uh, that's about 12 miles from here. If I can get there, I'll be happy. I'll still be on my schedule to finish on a Sunday. If I can get a little further than that, it'll be better because maybe I have a possibility of finishing Saturday. Either way, I got to get at least there today. And then tomorrow will be another big day, 20 plus miles, 25 miles. But if it's raining and nasty, I'll have to cut that short too. But then, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, are supposed to be sunny and nice, so there could be days where I push longer miles. I gotta look over everything, but my goal today is to get to Terrell Pond Lean To, and that keeps me right on schedule. Even though it's a short day, 12 miles, but if the weather's nasty, let's we'll see. We'll see when I get there. I'm gonna keep my phone off too, because I'm draining my battery and my backup battery charger is going to run low too because I got to charge my keep my uh, phone my headlamp my stereo pen my watch is, it charges itself in the sun but I really only gets like good two two and a half days out of it so I fully charged that again last night because <clears throat> I keep it on uh, hiking mode to track my, my, my mileage but that's it I'm keeping my phone off and 
anything happens, I'll film it or take a picture. I'll turn it back on, but that's a little. 12 miles for me now, but I'd like to get at least 17 in. Um, okay, I just passed Terrell Pond lean to not like 12 miles for the day. There is a thunderstorm coming in. I was just talking to some guys over at that lean to. They said it's going to roll through this afternoon, so I'm going to be caught in it. But I want to keep pushing a little more. Look at that. Yeah. That's Terrell Pond here. Nice spot, but I'm gonna get caught in a thunderstorm because I wanna push on. There is a lean-to coming up here. Maybe I'll crash there just to ride out the storm because Lake Durant Camp now looks like another five miles from here. And then there's another shelter, Stevenson, I think that I wanna get to. That's like three miles past that. And it's two o'clock right now, so. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. My feet are killing me. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. It was pouring on me this morning when I left. I'm not really filming much because it's, it's just a lot of woods walking and I'm just blowing through this. Whew. That's nice though. All right. Seventeen miles in, four o'clock. I'm shot. My feet are killing me. I might be hiking in the dark because I'd like to get to twenty miles to Stevens Pond Lean to. I'm gonna try. Okay, it's quarter to six. I made it to Stevens Pond Lean to. This is where I'm camping tonight. I'm sleeping in the Lean to. It's starting to pour out. Looks like there's gonna be thunderstorms tonight. So uh, I just got my water and now I'm going back to go to sleep. Today is Wednesday, September 14th. My fourth day out here. Uh, happy birthday, Poppy. I do miss you a lot. I'm doing this, I'm doing this. My feet are killing me. Got a lot of blisters, but I gotta do this. Get this done. Alright, I'm moving on. I'm not filming much because there's not much to see, but when I stop and see something, I'll film it or take a picture, but I'm trying to save my battery. Eight miles in today, still Wednesday. I'm moving along. I got 10 more to go. This is a uh, weekly pond, I guess. Oh, it's nice. It rained on and off today, not too bad. But I'm gonna stop soon. Weekly pond. I'm gonna stop soon. I got this little road walk ahead of me now. And uh, eat lunch. I need some fuel. So, the Northfield Placid Trail, <clears throat> definitely kicking my ass. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm banging through it. I did 12 miles, then 24 miles, 20 yesterday, and I'm pushing 18 and a half today, hopefully. we get this done. But that's it. I'm going to eat lunch in a few minutes as soon as I find somewhere nice to stop and eat. Off with the phone, off with the phone. Walking through the beaver dams. Uh, 
I uh, carry lean to, I guess. I'm almost there. I'm gonna probably push on another six more miles. Try to get to Cedar River lean to area. But you can see this is all beaver dam marsh here that I'm hiking through. Pretty nasty. It's actually pretty dry though. It's not too bad. That's all that. Alright, oh. I gotta pay attention. Just fucking beautiful. I'm fucking 20 miles in. Not exactly sure where I am. I'm trying to get to Cedar River Lean Tos, but it was supposed to be like a mile ago. Now I'm just walking along this lake here. I gotta check my map because it's 5 o'clock. Beautiful spot, 20 miles for the day. I think this is Cedar Lakes or Cedar River Lean to. I forget. Sweet, sweet. Fucking A. How fucking sweet is that? This is pure, pure Adirondacks. Look at that. Holy fuck. I uh, decided to push on another mile or so from where I was before to the next lean to just to get another mile in. Still had daylight. So, continuing on. And that's what I fucking got. Beautiful. How beautiful. This is where I'm camping tonight. Wednesday night, six o'clock. Pushed on that extra three quarters of a mile. Got to this nice spot. Uh, there was somebody staying in that other lean too, so I didn't feel like staying in there. I got this place all to myself, and you know what? It's even nicer. So it's right up there in the woods. It's gonna get cold tonight, so I'm gonna go hunker down, make dinner, and go to sleep. Terrible. It's Thursday morning. This is what my feet look like right now. Uh, yeah, beat to shit. Yeah. Anyway. There's my view from the lean to. It poured again last night. Thankfully, I was in here. And it got cold last night, down to like 37, 36 degrees. It's chilly out right now, but I'm just uh, doing some medical work on my feet. This, I wish I brought more of. That's all I got left. It sucks. It's, that's some good stuff right there. The moleskin. Right now, I'm just using some Band-Aids. Took some Advil. Getting my food ready for today. It's 6.30. I'm going to do a little more attention to my feet. And uh, looks like I've got maybe either a 17 mile or a 14 mile day today. See which one. I I'll definitely get to the 14 and then I'll see about pushing the 17. But that's it. I've shut everything down and my batteries are... Should make it if I do like I've been doing. Keep it, keep it low. All right, that's the nice lake out there. I heard some nice loons. All right. Okay. Six miles in today. Uh, I'm not fucking happy. I just had to trudge through this, all beaver area. I was knee high, couldn't see the trail down in there. All fucking the trees are down everywhere. Pretty much just hoping I went the right way. Knee high and mostly water, but mud and water too. There's a trail marker right there if you see it on the tree. So I came out of there, 
but I pretty much had to cut through all that. It's all beaver dammed up. I just had to cross this. So, yep, I had to walk through that. There was no crossing anything. And now uh, my feet are soaked. Everything's soaked again as usual, though. It hasn't been dry yet. Found some markers here, so hopefully that's it. I, my feet could dry off. The sun's coming out. And hopefully uh, that's it for wet feet for now. I gotta get some dry socks on eventually and take care of my feet. Today I am dirty. I want to be pretty. I know now that I'm forever dirt. Check this out. Oh, it just the sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Ooh, still get some mud to walk through. I don't even care anymore at this point. My feet are soaked and muddy. Look at this. Thank you for this rickety bridge here. This is all just swamp here. Oh, well, hopefully this bridge holds me up. Otherwise, I'm going for a swim. There's a beaver hut right there. All right, Mr. Frog, whoop. Oh, this is beautiful. Whoa. All right. It's the Northville Placid Trail. I'm banging it out. Just beautiful. I'm in the West Canada Lakes wilderness area. I just bumped into a uh, fellow BPLer David Hortley, I think his last name was. Hortley, David. It was nice meeting you and talking to you. That was pretty cool seeing you cross paths out here on the trail. What are the odds of that? And a nice spot to do it too. This is a beautiful area. Still going along, going along, as planned. I feel like uh, this is nice right here. I could live over here. Spend a lot of time out here. But I gotta go on a little bit. All right. On to Spruce Lake Lean To and see how I feel. And if I could push on a little further from there, I'd like to. But we'll see as the day goes. I'm slowing down a little bit. Uh, David, that was great. That was funny crossing paths with you today. Uh, what are the odds of that, right? All right, well, onward bound, southward, southbound. Where are we at? Spruce Lake lean to four miles. Let's see how I make time there. I'm gonna go past that if it's only four miles. Okay, night number, night number five on the Northville Placid Trail. I did another 18 miles today. No shelter tonight. So I got the event bivy set up with the uh, tarp. And it's not supposed to rain tonight, but it has rained every night. So I threw the tarp up just in case. But anyway, that's where I'm sleeping tonight. I got to look at my map and see what kind of mileage I got for tomorrow. But, uh... It's a short hike to Paseco, I think. So I'm like right outside Paseco. This is the uh, little established campsite, I guess. There's water down there. So it's good and bad. I don't, I'll have plenty of water, but I don't like camping by the water, but whatever. My bear can right there. I gotta eat and put that thing away somewhere. 
So, that's it. I got a guy out decently high so I could sit up in there. It's not gonna rain, shouldn't rain, but if it does, I'm good. Badass. Doing a road walk into Paseco. It is Friday, my sixth day out here. 9.30 in the morning, I already did about five miles. I gotta bang these miles out. My feet hurt, they fucking hurt, that's for sure. My knee hurts now, my right knee's hurting. This is tough, but uh, I'm gonna do it. I have a good feeling about this. See that fucking ugly mug? <laughs> I'm moving, I'm moving. But uh, I don't know. I kind of, I, I definitely want to do this and get this done. So it's beautiful. There's some really nice parts in this, some horrific parts. But it's all, every time it gets bad, it gets good. So there's always a good spot. Nice, something happens, it's just nice and makes it good. All right. I gotta shut my phone, the usual. I think I'll make it with my battery life if I keep doing like I'm doing. And uh, yeah, Let's see what I can bang out today. Okay, so I'm walking down the road just before the Paseco post office and I see uh, the guy Bob House, his shuttle, it says Bob Shuttle. And I just happened to look and he was standing at the end of the driveway up by his house, so Bob, I'm glad I got to meet you and talk to you, and uh, even though I didn't get a shuttle from you, uh, it was nice to see you and uh, actually talk to you for a few minutes. Very nice guy. Appreciate it. You offered me anything I needed. I was good, though. But uh, it's nice to see friendly people out there. And um, that's it. All right. There's the post office, Paseco post office, which I'm not stopping at because... I carried all my eight days worth of food. It's beautiful out now. The sun's blazing and I'm moving. Okay. I'm at 14 miles for today. I'm gonna do three more and get to Mud, I think Mud Lake Lean To area and see how I feel. If I could push on to Canary Pond, I'm not sure. So it's another four miles after that. This uh, suspension bridge here. Whoa. Holy shaky. Alright. Oh, it's gorgeous. Well, this thing wobbles, huh? Come on. Uh, there's no way I'm finishing tomorrow. I doubt it. I'd have to really push a lot of miles and I might even end up hiking in the dark out. So my original Sunday out is probably what it's gonna be. I'll see, hopefully I can do a short hike out, maybe like 12 miles on Sunday and get done by noon. Cause I've been getting up at 5.30 every morning. So beautiful out here. Silver Lake lean-to area. This is, I guess this is Silver Lake. Beautiful. Beautiful spot. It is 6.20. Uh, there's like three other people sleeping in the lean-to, and I'm going to wedge in there too because I'm tired. I did 22 and a half miles today. I'm shot. It was hard. I actually meant to camp by Canary Pond or something like that, and I passed it. I blew past it. didn't even realize it. So, you know what? I'm kind of glad I did, though, because now I'm here. And um, tomorrow... If I'm going to bang a 25 mile day out or break it up easy day and be out Sunday easy day. See how I feel if my feet can carry me because they are hurt. 
Anyway, my dinner's ready. I'm going to go up there and eat. I just filtered some water. I'd love to see the sunset, but <clears throat> I'm going to eat and go to sleep. I'm tired. And see if I get up early in the morning and head out early. And if my feet can carry me to 25 miles, I'll do it tomorrow night. I'll be walking in my car in the dark, but we'll see. Day seven. Day seven. It's West Stony Creek, I think this is. It's three o'clock. I am 17 and a half miles in for today. I'm hiking out tonight. I don't have, I got another maybe eight, nine, ten miles to go. It's three o'clock. I'll hike in the dark. I'm hurt. My feet hurt. My knee really hurts. Blowing up. I'm limping. But. Let me get down here. I need water too. I'm so thirsty. So I'm going to get across this somehow. Thankfully it's low. I'm going to get water and move on. Looks like the trail goes over there. Here we go. I did it. I fucking did it. I just stopped at Stewart's and spent $25 on ice cream, cherry Pepsi, Gatorade, Red Bull. And uh, these gummy nerd cluster, bag of gummy nerd clusters. I'm done. <laughs> I made it. Finishing, yes. Okay, true fucking story. As I'm walking in the parking lot, I shut my phone because the guy started talking. He pulled up my bike accident if I did the trail, said congratulations and everything. As I was walking in the parking lot, a bunch of people came out of the woods ringing cowbells and clapping singing the X and I just finished the trail and I said yeah and they were they were like yeah clapping and cheering a whole bunch like 10 people maybe 8 people and uh, they offered me food they have a picnic going over there and refreshments and I turned them down because I just bought stuff at Stewart's but I was talking to them for a little while they uh, have somebody finishing like a five or 700 mile bike ride through the Adirondacks on a bicycle some woman they're expecting her back here tonight so and uh, the, I was speaking to the guy, he said he did the trail twice years ago, but uh, that was crazy, that just like made it, that just made it really, there's a lot of good people out there, and I didn't expect that, they just came out of the woods clapping and cheering and honking horns and whistles, <laughs> I wish I kept my phone on when that guy started talking to me, because that's what set it off, but uh, that's great, what a way to end it, what a way to end it, at... 7.40 at night, I made it. I fucking made it. I'm hurting. But I got it. Now I got a long ride home. Bye.